What's good, viewer? This is Spanky, and we got something a little bit different today. It's the Back to the Future 2 DeLorean made by Jada Toys, which I never heard of. This was kind of an impulse buy. I found this at Walmart the other day. I had a version of this that was a little bit bigger. It made noises and stuff and lit up, and I kind of always regretted selling that. So when I saw this at a good price, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. I had to get it. Quick look at the packaging here. Again, it is made by Jada. I'm not familiar with car toy companies at all, so I don't know if they're good or bad or how are they, whatever else they make. I'm not really sure. Besides Hot Wheels that I get from my son and, you know, Matchbox stuff, I, I really don't know many toy companies. You get the little Try Me button here, and it's made out of die cast, which. Again, I buy stuff for my son, so I know for the most part that is actually, you know, I like die-cast stuff. I don't like the cheap plastic stuff. But on the back here, it shows you that there's actually other Back to the Future cars you can get. I have no idea what that is. Back to the Future 3 sucks. Who cares? I'm really glad that I found this model because it looks like it's the only one where you get kind of like where, you know, he goes to the future. Sorry about the... Uh, the focus there back to the future too and it's the only one that you know it hovers and flies and stuff so i think it's it's kind of cool because you kind of like if you get to the back to the future 2 model you get you know the back to the future 1 model as well Good, but you also get the cool you know tires that make it fly and stuff for the, you know the whole futuristic model usually when i do my toy reviews i look at like the sculpt and paint applications i'm not really sure how to do like a car toy review we may have some some technical difficulties here but it's got, it's got some weight to it, which I like. And I guess if you talk about paint applications, it's got some really nice, you know, metallic paint here. I think my Stanley in the background, Red Wing Stanley, is going to take the spotlight when it comes to the focus sometimes. I'm sorry about that. These almost look like missiles. I don't know why I thought that. But we look up here. We got the little time machine here going on in the background. I guess if I remember right, it's like... Man, it's been a while since I've seen the second movie, but isn't this like organically fed or something by waste? Something, something crazy like that going through the back. Ooh, that's a little disappointing. I wish it said out of time. Why doesn't it say out of time on the back? Oh, man. Isn't that what they usually say? Out of time? Maybe I could be wrong about that. But we've got the little button right here. I, I just, no, man, I'm going back to it. I do remember on a larger model I had... It said out of time on the back. Oh, man, it's a little disappointing. Doors open up. My classic DeLorean right there. That's cool. Let's see if I can't. Ugh, it might be a little bit difficult to get a picture of the inside there. I got some focus. Cool, cool. We got some dash cam. Dash cam. I don't know why I said cam, but we got some dash stickers there. It's kind of hard to pick up with the lighting and everything, but there is detail on the inside. They did do full detail everywhere. Go to the other side, see if we got another opening door. A little bit less detail on this side. We got some molded plastic in there. It's just going to be really hard for me to focus on. All right, we got some molded plastic in there. I think you can kind of see it, stick shift. So that is really, really nice. I don't know anything about scales, I, but when it comes to, you know, cars, I don't, this isn't necessarily going to fit a six inch figure. It's going to be definitely tough. Definitely not going to fit a 6 inch scale figure. It may fit maybe like 3 inch figures if you're really into it, especially if you're scaling. They're not going to fit in, but I think like the 4 inch, 3 inch figure, action figures are going to look pretty good next to this. And these paint applications are slick. Ooh, look at that shine when it comes to my, my lighting there. That looks really good. The die cast came out very nice. I like the weight to this figure. And the wheels... So he goes going to his flying mode. Boom, boom. No sound effects, but I thought this came with a stand. I need to go. Hopefully, I didn't throw that stand away. Stanley, quit stealing the, the limelight here. I'm going to turn you. Not sure why, but I thought this came with a stand. So if I had one minor gripe here is that there is no stand included, which would have been nice for, you know, when you, you got him flying. Just a little clear stand to go there to make him look like he was flying. That would have been a nice addition. I don't really know what else to say about this. Like I said, this was kind of an impulse buy. I just kind of want to show you all what I got. I, I really like it. This is a good stand-in for the other one. The other one I got, like I said, was a, was a larger fig, was a larger, I keep wanting to say figure, larger model scale of the DeLorean. 
and that was more of like a you know it'll fit a six inch figure scale while this won't and you know i guess it's give and take i don't remember how much I, there's a lot that i don't know how much i paid for it so i got it kind of a while back like an impulse buy I was like, man, I just really need a DeLorean in my collection. No sound effects. But if you do find this and you are a, you know, Back to the Future fan, I think I must have got it at a good price or else I wouldn't have bought it at all. But this is really cool. I'm glad to add it to my collection. I think it's going to look good. I probably was like, slide it back there somewhere. I'm going to need to do something with Stanley because he keeps stealing limelight on a lot of these figure reviews. So if you like what you see here, Check it out. Find it at your Walmart. Go visit jadedtoys.com. See if you can find it there. Other than that, please like, comment, and subscribe. Be safe. Peace.